Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim, with memory of many lives, Barbus, the amazing dog, can you give a big woof for the audience? Can you give a give, give, big woof? One, two, three... You are absolutely worthless. And Raya, of course, here with her undead smashing warhammer, her Thalmor outfit. We seek shelter here in the alchemist shack in the last one after crossing over from the west. We actually did quite the distance in the other one. And right now we're about to head out onto the road and towards Iverstead to new adventures. So considering if we should make some potions, but some other time. Some other time. Part of me is still a little anxious about leveling. Oh, I'm getting like flashbacks to, to things I've missed, you know, like, oh, if you reach a particular level, this thing doesn't spawn anymore. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep it cool as a cucumber as we go along the road here. Would have really liked to explore this new area with some better weather, but that's not really up to us. We just kind of make do with, with what we have. And right now, that is rain. That's fine. We will have to be the sunshine in our own life, you know? We'll have to light up the road ahead. Ah, uh, that's a giant ugly rat. Let's kill it. Ooh, excellent form. If I had a sign that said 10 on it, I would... What's that noise? Oh, look at that. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, huh? Ow. I kept hearing that expression, but I never knew what it meant until now! Gaboosh! Rock joint! Dude, I just cured diseases! Why do you... Wow, it just disappeared. Alrighty, this rabbit was in the middle of it. It's a dog-eat-dog-over-dead-rabbit world, as they say. Now, over here we have some leather armor and Journey Brett's Last Dance. A little hidden gem right here. It's, it's a book, not a gem. But you know what I mean. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna do something interesting. I'm gonna place it onto the wooden wheel cart and then see if Raya can get it from there. You don't must. Why is there another... Man, these woods. Why do people live here? <laughs> this is terrible. Alright. Let's get even more people up in melee here, because clearly that's what's needed right here. I'm just gonna smack this rumpy stumpy over here. Just lots of smacks on the rumpy stump. Probably also just charge up this so we can smack the rump even faster. There we go. It's all about the uh, RPS of a weapon. Rumps per second. We really should start collecting some of the bear pelts around here. We'll see why when we uh, enter Iverstead. Raya! Since, uh, yes, Barbus yes, can't pick up books without biting them yes, and drooling all over them, you're gonna have to pick this one up and try not to bite it and drool all over it. Will do. Oh, that was surprisingly easy, huh? Alright. Let's get going, then. On the road. <sighs> Everybody's probably inside in Iverstead. Oh, they're out working. They're hard-working people. They are. That guard just <laughs> went to the bridge, turned right around. Probably sees me coming with, with blood on my mace and, okay, I look... We do look like a menacing duo, now a trio. Is that a... Is that a... Just stags and deers in the river. Alright, one of them is just... He went under. Hold on. Is he coming back up? Oh, it's a water stag. Ah, uh, yeah, those are pretty rare. Iverstead discovered. Wonderful. I do want to travel around and see the sights. You're like me, huh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. Don't don't let uh, Raya hear you say that. Ah, <sighs> the Vilmer Inn. This is also right at the uh, foot of the mountain that leads up to High Rothgar, which we don't really know anything about. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Well, there might be, Wilhelm. Ah. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Oh my gosh, that voice. Getting some of the seam PTSD over here. You don't look like a pilgrim. 
Why bother visiting Iverstead? Let's just pretend we know what High Rothgar is. <laughs> Anything you can tell me about High Rothgar? Klimic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Hmm. <sighs> what a boring conversation. It would be a shame. No, 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 Mimir. All right, Wilhelm. All right. I suppose it's the least. Anyway, I was inside you, you for want? a second. Okay. Anyways. Hey, whoa. Pardon me, my lord. She, wow. Would you care to hear me play my loop? She was just power walking out of there. Uh, you what do you play? I play the loot. If you'd Have like you to hear something, it only yet. costs 5 gold. No. I'll tell you. Will ah. <laughs> uh, merely 5 gold. I'd usually pay twice that to hear you play. <laughs> yeah. That's so yeah. sweet of you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll play a special song Ooh. just for you for no charge at all. This was not planned. What? Okay. Do I dare tab out of this? Because it seems like it's stuck. Okay. Oh. <gasps> yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Uh, I've heard this one before. Hello! If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Tell me more about the barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Do the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? You'd be surprised. This is just a matter of how you market yourself, okay? There's a big opportunity here. I could investigate for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Investigate Shroud Hearth Barrow. We just might. Has anyone ever explored the barrow? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Oh boy. Anything you can tell me about High Rothgar? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. Hmm. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your step. It's a long Pardon way me, down. Pardon me, lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? No, you've already offered and then you, you pulled out... We don't get many visitors <sighs> all right. here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. I see you got some gold lying around with my name written on it. What's behind here? I noticed some... Th oh, it's just the, the top part of that. thought they've stacked some books on top of the barrel, and I was wondering what, what that was about. Maybe some odd custom of theirs. <gasps> the Wabba Jack! That's amazing. I am so picking up a book about the Wabba Jack. Alright, don't you say anything. As we know, dogs don't report crimes, and that's, that's what makes them man's best friends. If they did... <laughs> The old game over. Cats, though. You don't want to do crime around a cat. Cave bear pelt. I'll take that. I'm not sure if it's going to count towards a certain objective. There's more people of the town for us to meet. We can't just stick around here at the inn all day. Day drinking. Actually, maybe, maybe we should. It's really bad outside. Okay. What other places are there to see? There's Klimek's house. We've heard about Klimek. He's probably out in the town, though, since it's during the day. So we'll see if we can come across him. It's a shack on the other side of the river with a miserable man. This man right here is the poster child for why you don't do the Dark Brotherhood early. He's one of the first targets you get. And his name is Narfi. You look worse than I feel. Despite being really rude, he's also a little extra. I can't see you, Raida. I can't find you. Why are you hiding? Hiding? Hide, hide, hide. Don't make me sad. And if you kill him, 
this is going to be a revelation to you, but people die when they are killed. And if they're dead, they can't give us quests. So we basically want to swoop through, do favors for everybody, become everybody's best friend, before we don the black cloak, pull out the dagger, and go dumpy dumpy dump in the night. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, we'll figure it out, okay? Maybe Mimir's assassination style is just a little bit different. I'm trying to talk my way out of it, and it's not helping. Before I ask Narfis if, if he's okay, I'm gonna give him a gold piece. Just enough to pay a barber to get rid of these growths on the side of his face. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. And in good old beggar fashion, that totally removes his personality. Thank you, kind sir. Are you okay? Raid was here, then gone. Went to gather plants and never came home. Nope, nope. Everyone looked and no one could find her. Wilhelm said she'll be back. Told Narvi not to worry. Raida will come back. What's wrong with you? With father, I said goodbye. With mother, I said goodbye. Raida leaves and Narvi can't say goodbye. Makes Narvi very, very sad. Narvi needs Raida to say goodbye. All right. The mountain will eat you. Oh. Watch the mountain. Uh, duh. Okay. So he's very upset about losing someone, and we need to give him some sort of closure. So he did mention the innkeeper. Uh, we will go have a little chat with him. But there's also salmon here. So Mistfire bless me. You might want to stay back, Raya, because uh, I got plans with these salmon. Whoa! All right, let's see if we can get ourselves some salmon roe. Come on, Barbus, catch the salmon. All right, we got one. Surely we got more than one. Is that all? No. I just use my once per day power, which I never would use otherwise, so it's not a big deal. Woof says Barbus. Yeah, Woof says I too. All right, I just wanted some salmon while I was at it. Screw me, I guess. We're gonna keep going. Over there's the barrow, I assume. Over here is Fellstar Farm, but everybody's out. Uh oh, drama. I told you that I didn't want you to go up there. I know what you said. But I only wanted to speak to him for a moment. Well, it stops now, and that's fine. Yeah. Stupid girl, thinking you can live your own life, make your own decisions. Oh, you're a traveler. You must have so much to tell about the world outside this boring town. Yeah, sure. Have anything interesting to tell me? How about you tell me about the boring town? The Greybeards are a strange bunch. I heard they live their entire life without uttering a single word. Can you even imagine? No. I wish I could go with you. That would make this very difficult for me to do. How would I entertain you? Juggling? I can't juggle. It's preposterous. Alright, we're just gonna help out at the farm. And by help out at the farm, I mean take Never everything that they've there, worked. Children. Think twice before you do it. Wow, okay. <laughs> Means I'm gonna take everything they have and then give them a bit of wheat. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. I'm gonna sell them back their own crops in order to complete a quest. Honest pay or honest work? Honest work, I'm not so sure. Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? It's frightening living below their monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Hmm. <laughs> what do you make of that? I have cabbage to sell. No, we don't sell cabbage sure, and potatoes. Please. Everyone uh, else does. All right, everybody's here so aggressive, man. What about you, Joff Thor? My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. Uh, you're the unreasonable one here. All right, anything you could tell me about High Rothgar? They call it the path to the monastery to seven thousand steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Should exercise more. Just get out of town as fast as you can. I need you to pitch in a little more around here, dear. Oh, more drama. I help. I do the chores. <sighs> what else would you have me This is miserable. I know your sights are set beyond this town, but for now, while you're under our roof, I need you to pitch in a little more. Yes, She mother. looks like she's 29. 
You treat her like she's 13. No, excuse me. Hold on. You just... You just... You're hardly thrown her to the wolves. She just wants to see the world. Just like I did when I was her age. And if she decides to leave Iverstead? What then? No. No, I can't bear the thought. I have words to say to you, Bodhi. But I'm not going to, because I don't want to get demonetized. You glad to see me now? But you just told me to get out of town! Okay, well, there's more people to meet here. Hopefully someone who's less crazy. Fastred, you're gonna go into Felstar Farm. I also want to go into Felstar Farm. Because it is the location of a very particular item. To tell me? I'm just gonna look for this. We have Wylandria Spoon. If you remember, we've also gotten Wylandria's Soul Gem. Now, these are items that we will be asked to collect in the future for the Court Wizard down in Riften, so... Might as well start taking them now. All right, we're friends! I imagine how exciting it must be to journey ah, from yes. place to place. You're so lucky. Ah, ah potatoes! If I were you, I'd move right through our backwards... Oh, Jofthor! Hey! Sorry. to have children? Oh. Think twice before you do it. She's literally right next. Oh, it's it's that time. Yeah, it's the th 3 p.m. ale break. I wanted to talk with you. Oh, what is it now? Are they... Wilhelm said he saw you speaking to one. Oh, of the I thought he was gonna have a change of heart. <laughs> this is I terrible. I I want to get out of here. This is there. a minor mace. That sounds new. Shalidor and Labyrinthian. I know what you said. Dream of Sovngarde. I thought for sure he was gonna be like, but look, your mother talked. I'm sorry, I acted the way I did. I'm just worried about you, and I. I just picked up that bear pelt, didn't I? With the big red hand icon on it. <sighs> Touch the elk hide. Everybody's cool. Touch the bear pelt. Can I put it back? Look, I put the bear pelt back. I know what you well, said, it stops now. But I only wanted it worked. It actually right. worked. Or they just didn't <laughs> see me. Well, I'm still going to take it because I need it for a quest. Thank you. All right, I need to get out of this family drama. I know more about this family than I do any other NPC in Skyrim right now. All right. You guys gonna spout anything? You guys looking at... Yeah, we're probably the most exciting thing to happen to these people for quite some time, okay? Now then, where were we? All right. The 7,000... Hold on, I got distracted. I'm gonna chop some wood. Rumor has it... There might be someone here to buy some firewood for me. And a one, and a two, and a hujabaja. Excellent form. And as you do, we place it right back. Donk. All right. On your better. way up the seven thousand steps again, Klimek? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. You're looking at me. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. I wish I could make my deliveries more often. But the road's getting dangerous. Oh. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. What can you tell me about High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times. But I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. <laughs> Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Hmm, the Thum. What types of deliveries do you make to High Rothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. You said that like it was an innuendo or something. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Okay. Now, obviously I'm not actually gonna do the climb until we have to, because there's no point in doing it early since we can't fast travel. Anything I should watch out for during the climb? 
Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. All right. Be careful up there. All right, we've got Klimek's quest. It is so dark here. Like, Iverstead's not been a great first impression here. Just gotta say. Okay, we have completed... We've started Klimek's quest. We've completed Boti's quest here at the farm. Uh, we got that one item for a later quest. Narfi, we gave him a gold, so that's a quest. And he wants us to... Help him find out what happened to Rada. You're new. Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Oh well, now that you mention it. This has to be the uh, worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? Uh, my firewood cell. Honest gold for honest work. Yeah. You having a bear problem? Are you kidding? Those damn things will drive me right out of business. Tell you what. Bring me ten of their pelts from anywhere in Skyrim. I'll gladly pay you for thinning out the herd. Alright, already got three and we started this episode. That's pretty good. How could bears run you out of business? Have you ever seen what a bear does to the trees? They jump on their hind legs and scratch them to bits, marking their territory or something. It's getting to the point where I have to scour Skyrim for untouched trees at the right size. Cost me too much time and money. What's making you so angry? My business is falling apart, my apprentice never listens to me, and now there's talk of dragons. Dragons? Where? If I hadn't sunk every bit of gold I had into my mill, I would have picked up and left Iverstead long ago. Yeah, seems like the proper thing to do. Anything you can tell me about High Rothgar? The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. Alright, Temba White Arm giving them a Temba Wide Berth. Now go give those stupid bears what's coming to them. Yeah. F you bears. How well, dare you. Alright. Let me know. Wilhelm, you're my man. We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. What's the story with Norfi? Ah, he's harmless. He's been in a state ever since his sister Raida disappeared over a year ago. He just keeps to himself in what's left of his folks' farmhouse across the river. You told Narfi she's coming back? I just said that to make the poor guy feel better. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Raida would gather ingredients from the small island in the river east of here. Then one day, she just vanished. I tried to look for her, but she never turned up. Okay. Anything dangerous on that small island to the east? I've seen some sort of a cave entrance over there. Folks call it Geierman's Hall. But I don't know why. Probably best if you avoid it for now. It didn't seem to do Raida any good. Keep your eyes open right. in the barrow. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. Okay. We are indeed gonna go look. Right Is it absolutely necessary for you to exist in my presence? We're gonna go looking for Rada's remains so that hopefully Narfi can get some closure here. Is that. Yeah, I just had a flash of lightning. Very, very frightening. Okay. So, Gyramon's Hall. <laughs> this is such a bad place to live! All right, let's go looking. Oh, hey, <laughs> Rada, my girl, how, how are you? Well, some, some goodies here. A hist carp, dude. I need that. Thank you. You're the best. Rada's necklace. All right. Well, I guess there's no point traveling over to the, to the barrow over there. We have another barrow to check out. All right, let's let's go back to Narfi with the with the necklace here. Oh, there he is! It's just doing some parkour to get out of the house. You know, it's just a good way to start the day. Casual parkour. Hey, Narfi. Oh, 
Raider, Raider. You live among the clouds now, dear Raider. Oh my gosh. She said she'll be home soon. No, I'm not gonna say that. I found Raider's necklace. Raider? You saw Raider? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? Wait, um, she said she'll be home soon? What is the implication of telling him this? What is the implication of telling him this? Okay, it seems like it has no impact on the... Now he's just crying in the storm. So it has no impact on the actual rewards. It's just kind of what you feel better as. Either we we tell him the truth or we oh, let him Raida, live in hope. Raida. Okay. I miss Raida. She was so nice to Narfi. Narfi. Narfi said he can't be with Raida. I know. It seems like you're all about closure, okay? So I'm going to close the lid on her coffin and just... <sighs> Sorry, Narfi. She's dead. Oh, no. No, no, no. Narfi never got to say goodbye. Now Narfi's all alone. I'm sorry. At least Narfi has Raida's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. Oh, we got some imp stool and some grapes. That's quest complete. I know you're real fond of that necklace. And yeah, you know, belong to your sister and all that. However, how about I told you that's a collectible item? How would that make you feel? However... It actually does disappear from the game. Don't worry. Don't even. We're not that this was very unfortunate angle, by the way. But we are not actually gonna steal it from him because we can't. But if I could, I totally would. Because morals have to step aside for completion's sake. Okay. Well, we'll be back in the future in our face. So uh, enjoy life until then. But uh, when we're back, we're gonna come dressed in black. And then we're gonna stuff you in a sack. And give you a lack of life, because I'll kill you. But this is me talking. This is not Mimir. Mimir has no clue yet, but I, I see his future written in the stars. It is inevitable. Man, it is a dark and gray day. I'm kind of loving the clouds right now. That is beautiful. Iverstead's been a very bleak bleak place. We've d picked up quests, we've started some different adventures, completed what we could complete, but there's one particular place here in town which remains unsolved. It's a Nordic rune, thousands of years old. Oh, that's really cool that the rain can actually drip through here. I love that detail. All right, Raya. All right, Barbus, come inside. Come in. Oh, you already are. <laughs> you look terrifying standing there in the dark. I think I would like to explore this little ruin right here. It just seems like a, a nice, self-contained little adventure. I don't know if we've actually been inside a proper Draugr crypt, because we haven't gone to uh, Bleak Falls Barrow yet. This might actually be place to go but seeing as we're past the 30 minute mark or so by the time you're watching this oh man we are going to conclude the episode here and in the next one on this dark gloomy day we are going straight into shroud hearth barrow <sighs> overlooking the water where Rada lost her life it's been a gloomy dark day and hopefully... Oh, what am I saying? It's gonna get much darker when we dive into the barrow. But guys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed today's little village episode. I do eventually want to hit some of the bigger cities, but... For now, it's just a good warm-up to hit some of the villages around here. Uh, you know... Maybe you need to practice his social skills a little bit. It's the perfect place to do it. Right now, Shrouded Hearth, sh Shroud Hearth, Shrouded Hearth, the barrel, the thing right there. It is plaguing the people of Iverstead. And if I can give them one less thing to be miserable about, I will. So tune into the next episode when we go hunting ghosts, spirits, and undead. 
So have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most important, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.